Alright guys, welcome back to another meal planning Monday, and I hope your Monday morning is going as great as mine. Um, it's bright and early, and I'm up by myself and just really enjoying the silence, so I thought I would go ahead and record before the children woke up. Um, up here is my chicken scratch of what I always like to do of either things that sound good or things that need used up, like I have two heads of cabbage, no, one head of cabbage, two heads of cauliflower. I found some ready, already cooked hamburger that's not in a freezer bag in my freezer, and so I wanted to use that. And then also I have a whole lot of whole peppers um, from where I just had so many. I was chopping, I was slicing, and I was leaving them whole and putting them, well, I'd hollow them out and leave them whole, so... I have all those I want to start using up and then um, some things that just sounded good and I put some of them up there also <clears throat> I have to make another ciabatta bread video because I did make one but I lost the footage of the end so I am going to make a ciabatta bread <laughs> at some point this week um, so that I can record it again which is fine because I can always just freeze it if I don't use it in a meal. Um, they freeze really well. But the one I made this past week, um, because someone had asked for it, it was very good. And I also made an English muffin bread. And I'm about done with the second loaf of that. And it was phenomenal. Phenomenal. It was my first time making the um, English muffin bread. Oh. I can't tell you how delicious that was. Anyway, let's get to meal planning. So, <clears throat> today I have a big day of laundry. I know that sounds exciting. So, I'm going to make it easy and just do a roast in the crock pot. And then, this is going to be a roast and onions recipe. Because I still have a lot of onions in excess. So, a roast and onion recipe, and I'll probably put some garlic and some different things in it. And I also have some carrots that need used up in my fridge. I forgot to write that down. So, I'll throw them in about halfway through because the roast will be frozen. And then with this, I am probably going to do just some roasted cabbage at the end just get rid of the cabbage um because I can put some of the roast juice gravy over that and it'll be delicious uh so there's that gotta get rid of that Tuesday I am going to make and now I may pronounce this wrong but Zeppa Toscana and it is all from my um, dehydrated stuff um, I don't have anything fresh for it except for onions but <clears throat> I make it all the time with um, my dehydrated stuff and actually it may end up being more like my um now I can't think of it it's just a sausage mushroom kale soup. I have a video of it. I may turn it into that if I don't have any ground sausage. Um, but right now, this is my plan. I just haven't looked to see if I have any ground sausage, sausage in my freezer. So either way, it's going to be one of those two things. The ingredients are pretty similar. I would just use sliced uh, smoked sausage and actually I have an herbed chicken sausage in my freezer and it is phenomenal in my um, that soup that I make now Wednesday we will be going trick-or-treating so Wednesday I will make stuffed peppers because that'll be a quick dinner and happy Halloween to everyone that celebrates Halloween and I'm planning on making the peppers into little jack-o'-lanterns because who doesn't love that? Um, I love 
I love doing themed things for holidays. And we're done with that. So to use the, ca the cabbage, the hamburger, I will make stroganoff. My little hamburger helper stroganoff. Homemade, of course. Although we used to eat a ton of the box stuff, but when I found how easy it was to make the stroganoff and hamburger mac or cheeseburger macaroni with um, home ingredients, it is so much better. You just can't go back. Oh, uh, let's see. Friday. Let's do some garlic butter chicken. Or it may turn into ranch chicken. Garlic butter or ranch chicken and we'll put some zucchini noodles with it and make it a uh, like a one one pan dish and that should that should be good we love ranch chicken and it is so easy it's a stick of butter it's a packet of ranch and it's in the crock pot voila or you can um do it as a sheet pan dish which is what this will probably be and I'll put the zucchini noodles on it oh, that's done. Saturday I want to do cauliflower steaks and it's with a mushroom gravy and that has me written all over it but not my husband so <clears throat> we'll probably make him burgers. And Sunday, we'll, we'll have spaghetti. Well, if I could spell. Guess I haven't had enough coffee. We are going to have spaghetti. Spaghetti, garlic bread, and that's where I'll use the ciabatta. Just thought of it. Because ciabatta makes the best, the best um, garlic bread. So, and I make my own spaghetti sauce with my home canned ingredients. Oh, so, that is my plan for the week. Um, it's pretty, pretty average. We eat a lot of chicken. We eat a lot of roast. Um, mainly because right now... <laughs> We have roast in the freezer and we have chicken in the freezer and then we have vegetables and I have canned uh, meat I have a lot of canned meat so that is what we're doing I hope that this inspires you to meal plan because I promise you if you meal plan and you know what you have for the week you don't have to stress over it it's just one last thing that I do not have to worry about. And if my husband asks me, which he always does every day in the morning, right before I turned on the camera to do this video, what's for dinner? I already know what to tell him and it's good to go. And then what's really nice is since I already have all these ingredients, I'm not going to the store for anything, is that say on Tuesday. I decide that I am not in the mood for soup and I am instead in the mood for spaghetti and garlic bread. I can put spaghetti up here and have the soup down here because I already have the ingredients. Um, it's just a little switcheroo. So it just makes it easier on me so that if for some reason we're not in the mood for it, we can swap it and it still works um, because none of these are going to produce leftovers. We will eat all of them. So I will see you guys next time and thank you for watching.